My wife and I moved to Mossel Bay in February last year. So I'm out at Pinnacle Point. Love it over there. Listen, if I if I have any say in it, I'm never moving again. Um, Pinnacle Point's got great facilities to practice. Uh, love the golf course. Love the people there. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, definitely a move up from Cape Town. I was pretty much at finishing off with the golf. Uh, as much as I love it, it just got to a point where the, you know, financially not viable anymore. You know, I've, I've been very fortunate. My, my parents have helped me a little bit, so that's that's all right. But just struggling, you know, and it just I wasn't fun anymore. You know, playing badly every single round. So yeah, I went for an interview, got close, but then kind of that that interview also got me thinking that it's yeah, it's not that easy out there either. You know, and yeah, just took a couple of weeks off and then yeah, love the game. So just started playing again. The Sunshine Tour, the players are getting better and better everywhere around the world. But the Sunshine Tour, and you know, with the new format of, of full fields, uh, yeah, it's 120 odd people and there's only a, a cut of 40 and tires. You know, so that makes the scoring a little bit better. So yeah, I think it's um, it's, a, it's a good thing that they're doing. You know, everyone gets a chance of playing, and yeah, it definitely lifts the standard. I've been working on, on rhythm and then also I, I had a tendency to sort of move over the ball with my head a little and get ahead of the ball and then yeah with a bit of a rounded release it went I almost hit my ankles um, you know, going low left so uh, just trying to stay a little bit more on top or just behind the ball and then just rhythm from there and it's funny the ball goes the same distance eh? so, um, yeah so just rhythm and then uh, just trying to stay calm and patient Honestly, I think patience is everything. Because the game is so up and down, you know, um, you're going to have good days and there's going to be one guy that, you know, just plays better, you know. So it's not necessarily you playing good every day. So you've got to sort of keep it together and just wait for the right time. Welcome to the Sun Boardwalk Putting Com. It's officially Southern Cape versus Boerland. So we're not going to do too much talking. It's quite serious. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my, overclub. I just overclub, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's okay, we'll give them a head start. And Southern Cape goes two down. <laughs> this is the first hole, I think. Yeah. I'm so happy Brayton is going first. I don't think I can keep it on that line, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he hit 
So it's coming down the streets. We wind down Southern Cape versus Bola. We they needed the advantage, so we're gonna start kicking in now. Oh, that's in the hole. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Your beauty. Bola. Bola. Papa. Two up. Two to play. Last thing Southern Cape won was the RTT. <laughs> How you pushed it? Oh, and he pulled it. He pulled it. It's not easy. Yo! Oh my word! <laughs> Back in the game. How can I miss it? <laughs> I just missed a short putt just to give Southern Cape another chance. So, Borland is one up or one to play. Watch the space. Let's see what's happening. Oh, good start. Come on! Oh, he hit it too soft. He hit it too soft. And he leaves it short. And he leaves it short. Line. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I missed the short one. I'm going to stop again, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure beating Southern Cape. Yeah. <laughs> we would just like to uh, hand over the floating boardwalk challenge trophy to Wurland that beat us today. They got lucky, I must say. Uh, I hope you enjoy your prize. Thank, Thank you very much. I don't think we need luck. Well, it always wins. <laughs> Number one. Number one. I played uh, amateur golf in South Africa, I think 2007, 2008, around then, and then I went over to Oklahoma City in the, the States for college. So I played a lot of uh, college events. Uh, so not too many accolades here in uh, South Africa, but a few, few uh, smaller events in the, in the, in the States. College was, um, it was a lot, a lot of time with uh, friends, with your teammates, Probably not the most productive four years I've ever had, but uh, it was it was a lot of fun, and you gain a lot of experience playing in Oklahoma with the wind. And it wasn't all bad for my golf, but it was uh, it was a hell of a fun. Being a pro, uh, you just handling the pressure of having to make money. The, the experience as a pro to try and move up onto the next level, obviously, try and get up onto European tour move your way to the States, I think, uh, adds a bit of an element to it. It's a huge platform and the competition here is just as good as anywhere else. Um, you've got to play really well if you want to compete in, a, in an event and I think that definitely prepares you for future events. Two or three years down the line, definitely competing for European Tour events. I think in the long run you always want to compete uh, against the best in the PGA Tour. But um, to get the Sunshine Tour platform moving on to the European Tour, you're going to have to do it using your world rankings or getting into WGC events. And I would say that's a good three to five year goal. But uh, definitely in a couple of years, hopefully competing in the European Tour. If I could build uh, the perfect golf swing, I'd probably take a lot of Henrik Stenson's ball striking. Unbelievable. And in a short game, obviously you have to look at Phil. He can get up and down from anywhere. But uh, if you've got Henrik Stenson's ball striking, probably not having to do as much work as Phil does. As a youngster, I've always looked up to Retief. I've loved his demeanor on the golf course. I thought that's a very good um, way to approach the game. And I try to, try to mimic that sometimes too. <laughs> 